Getting accepted into Sundance is a big deal because of its reputation and the platform that it gives to voices in independent film. Having the film accepted into Sundance, I'm honestly just filled with gratitude. I'm grateful to be here. With Sundance being, you know, one of the most prestigious film festivals for independent filmmaking, it makes perfect sense for Adobe to be here to really support or educate that independent film community about what they're offering. Everyone's making lower and lower budget films, and the bar of the quality of those films is rising. Everything that you need to do fits within the Adobe product. You don't have to go anywhere else. When I'm editing, uh, which I often do, and also doing sound mixing and uh, simple color grading, I have the access between programs in such a, a much more simple format than it was on any other programs that I was using before. The film was edited exclusively on Adobe Premiere. A lot, if not almost all, of the effects work was done in After Effects. It's pretty exciting to be talking to Adobe. We taught Matt a little After Effects, and yeah, he kind of picked it up pretty quickly. We used a lot of archival material in the film, so uh, Premiere was able to really handle the different codecs, the different file formats in a way that was, you know, just much, much less work. There's a lot of people that I talk to now, and they're like, what do you edit on? And I say Premiere, and they're like, yeah, that's what I use. Filmmakers are empowered now. They can get a hold of equipment they can get a hold of editing suites and they can create their own work. And if they want to, they can just put it out on the biggest network in the world and that's the internet. Adobe's involved in supporting a community and supporting an art form and helping it develop on a grander level. And being part of Sundance shows that 